profession. I'm an electrical engineer by profession. And uh, I've wa I worked both in industry and government. I used to hear about this opportunity, but uh, I never really got interested. Now, in 1983, I was struck by a very serious illness. Uh, I went around all hospitals in this country, both public and private. And eventually, nine years later, I ended up at uh, a professor's clinic who decided to test me for allergies. She tested for allergies and advised me against eating certain foods. But she told me one thing, just trust God, one day you will find a solution. I spent a lot of time, I never slept. I had an itchy throat all the time. I used to live on antibiotics and eventually I just almost gave up. Now, come some times later, I was introduced to this opportunity and when I used the supplements for four months, I got some relief. Now, which company is this? This company is known as Neolife, briefly started in 1958 and I joined it because of its core values. And one of the core values that attracted me was absolute honesty and integrity. Number two, people are number one. And, and if you look at a company like Safaricom, it had succeeded because of working with people. Number three, products that work. I said, wow, maybe my solution is here. And long range vision, I have to look at this opportunity in the long term. And then equal opportunity for all. It doesn't matter whether you are 18 or 81, we all start at the same level. Now, today, I'm not, uh, I'll not take too much time talking about the company, but for our visitors, it is a company that you can partner with to enable you achieve your dreams. And indeed, I've achieved many of my dreams. My dream was to live a healthy life. And now I'm living a perfectly healthy life. I've not been to see a doctor since 2015, apart from just checking my vitals and my blood pressure because of my age, I have not really had any serious illness. But if you can allow me, today I've been asked to talk about asthma. And I'll start off by sharing my screen. Let me share my screen. Um, yes, I've been asked to talk about asthma. And as you know, we have <coughs> diseases that you can transmit to somebody and diseases that you cannot transmit to somebody. Those diseases that cannot be transmitted to people are known as non-communicable diseases and asthma is one of them. In fact, I have suffered bronchial asthma for a very long time because uh, after every three weeks, my chest would whiz. I would be back on antibiotics. Immediately the antibiotics ended, I would now be at it again. I would run to the doctor. In fact, I'm sure if my body could have been operated on at, at that time, it would have been full of antibiotics. Now, as I said, asthma is a major non-communicable disease and it causes inflammation of the small airways, making them narrow so that one cannot breathe. You end up gasping for breath and your chest becomes very heavy. 
you cannot actually breathe. It is a chronic lung disease. It makes harder to move air in and out of your lungs. And you can start at any age. My problem with allergies started at the age of 41. Now, how does asthma affect my body? With swollen airways, you cannot breathe, okay? And um, when you have asthma, depending on your environment, depending on where you are, it can attack you anytime because your airways excrete mucus and they swell, making it hard to breathe. Now, this is a very serious disease because in 2019, from the research that has been done, an estimated 262 million people, and it caused 461,000 deaths. It is also a common disease among children. Now, what happens when you have asthma, you go to hospital, and they can give you inhalers, but most of these inhalers uh, damage our bodies, they are impurities, they end up damaging our bodies. And eventually, you, when you have asthma or some of these chronic diseases, you are given medicine and the doctors on the call can forgive me because you are given medicine. When this one fails, when this strength fails, they now increase the strength. So you end up being permanently on medicines. Most asthma-related deaths occur in low and lower middle-income countries, where Kenya is one of them. And indeed, no one exactly knows what causes asthma, but scientists continue to explore the causes. But there are a number of um, factors that can cause the development of asthma. Number one, genetics. Now, asthma tends to run in families. If you have a father or a mother who has asthma, then you are more likely to have asthma too. There are people who have allergies. They wake up in the morning, they can sneeze for about half an hour. So even in, um, I'm a farmer. In, uh, in my part of the country, they say when the maize is tussling, then you have a lot of allergies. And indeed, that is true. You may get uh, lung, uh, lung issues due to respiratory infections. And this can happen in small children and can also happen in, in adults. The environment that we live in. We have, a lot, we have lots of impurities. Uh, we have pollution from cars, we have impurities from the foods that we eat that can cause respiratory infections. Now, Neolife has a solution. For adults, we give them provitality stroke GNN, herbal respiratory formula, garlic allium, multimindral and alfalfa, vitamin C, Neo life shake, chelated karma. Children are also not left behind. For children, we have liquivite, we have VitaGuard, we have Vita Squares, we have NutriShake, we have Omega 3 Mini. Now, what I'll do, I'll just uh, provide an, an overview of the products that we have for asthma. Number one is provitality for adults. Now, provitality consists of four products. One is TNN. It makes our cell membrane soft and permeable so that waste can get out and good nutrients can get in. Imagine if you have a cell whose cell membrane is hard, the nutrients will not be able to get in, 
đại gia nghĩa the 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 waste will not be able to get out carotenoid complex boosts the immunity you know when your immunity is boosted you will not be able to be attacked by any of the dangerous diseases carotenoid complex is known to boost the immunity by 37% in 20 only 20 days omega 3 reduces inflammation by 69% in 8 weeks the fourth product is multi it delivers a broad spectrum of key vitamins and minerals i am a farmer and we know most of the farmers in this country use artificial fertilizers. And when we use artificial fertilizers, the fertilizers leave the minerals that we need for our bodies. So that as we eat those plants, we do not get zinc, enough zinc, we do not get copper, we do not get any of the minerals that we need, and hence the need for supplementation. The second product I'll talk about is herbal respiratory formula. As its name uh, says, the herbal formula is, it promotes and supports the functioning of the respiratory system. It relieves coughing. It, you know, when you have asthma, your, air, your airways are restricted, and so you tend to cough you tend to cough so that you can be able to open the, the, the airways. It protects against recurrent respiratory infection. And indeed, asthma is one of the respiratory infections. It overcomes minor allergies and a fever, reduces inflammation. Your airways are inflamed. And when they are inflamed, it is quite, quite painful. It soothes respiratory mucus and it's formulated to keep and prevent respiratory problems. That is a great product in, in, for people who have asthma to use. The second product I'll talk about is garlic allium. Garlic allium is a natural antibiotic. It is antibacterial, capable of destroying bacteria that cause disease. It is anti-inflammatory, reducing redness and swelling of tissue, prevents onset of colds, and strengthening the immune system. What I usually do, and I, I, I advise people, when you stay with people who have a cold, and maybe you have not been on garlic allium, what you do, you buy a packet and you take two garlics three times a day for three days, and then you stop. You will not get a cold. Of course, on the packet, it's recommended that you take two daily. After three days, you can go back to the normal dosage of garlic allium. I want to assure you, because of this product, because of uh, Garlic allium, I have not been to see a doctor since 2015. Another product is malt mineral alfalfa. It increases absorption of vitamins and minerals, accelerates the healing of wounds. Remember, your airways are inflamed. They will be healed by this product. New Life Shake provides all the 22 amino acids, helps the body to, to build and repair tissues. Your airways are tissues. They will be repaired so that you will get away from this disease. Vitamin C boosts the immune system. And our vitamin C is so fantastic. It is sustained release. You take one at, say, 8 a.m., and you take another one after 24 hours because it will, vitamin C is released in the body only when it is required. Remember, vitamin C is water soluble. And even if you ate 100 oranges in half an hour, 
the vitamin C will be washed out of your body after every four hours. Our vitamin C being sustained relief, uh, release ensures that the vitamin C stays in, in your body for 24 hours. Chelated Karmak. Chelated Karmak promotes breathing, it improves heartbeat and muscle activities. It keeps veins and cell membranes healthy for free transportation of nutrients and waste. Now, those products I've talked about for adults, I have, I have focused on asthma, but our products have multiple advantages. Our products have multiple advantages. I leave it to, to you to read the books that we have and for the guests that we have, go to the company, to the person that uh, invited you and you get more information. Now for children, children are not left behind. If all our children were unhealthy, then when they grow up, they would, constitute a very unhealthy nutrition. I mean, a very unhealthy population. For children, we have liquivite. And even for adults who cannot swallow, we give them liquivite. Liquivite has the same function as the components of provitality. It is the liquid form of provitality. We give them bitter gut, which protects them against sickness. We give them vita squares, uh, which uh, it, it, it provides whole grains and it provides optimal cellular nutrition. And we give them NutriShake. NutriShake provides the essential amino acids that helps a growing child and also improves the immunity. We have omega-3 mini which is an and inflammatory um, uh, supplement. Now with children, with babies, when oh, there are some babies who are small, when they are young, we start giving um, uh, uh, liquivite at two months. You can start at two months giving liquivite. And as soon as a child can chew, Beta guard and beta squares can be given and they are formulated such that they are so sweet for children so that after giving you, your child, don't leave it where the child can take because they can take it as sweets and that will not be useful to them. So what does it take? We have distributors on the call. What does it take to be able to partner with New Life? You pay a certain fee to a pay bill number. You don't give us the money. You pay, you, you get, you, you pay to a pay bill number 9856.50 and your account number is your national ID number. You send that message to the person who has brought you on the call, and then you'll be able to partner with New Life. What are the advantages of partnering with New Life? When you partner with New Life, you become a member, you are exposed to the all 110 products that we have. Number two, you get the products at discounted prices. Number three, you get the literature and read about the products you are able to help the people around you because the mission of this company is to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And for you, our guest, who is here today, Neolife came to, to the world in 1958 through a gentleman called Jerry Brassfield who suffered asthma and he, he, he even dropped out of school. And now uh, a scientific advisory board was formed, which does proper research 
on all the products that we have. All the products, they don't have additives, they, they, don't, have, they, they don't have GMO, there are no impurities, all the products are tested perfectly through the scientific advisory board, which was founded by the founder of cancer chemotherapy, Dr. Arthur Fast, who was a Nobel Prize winner, and it consists of leading doctors and scientists. The leading doctors and scientists do nothing but research on the products that we have. Now, for our distributors on the call, let us share the products. For our guests, you can partner with Neolife, get in contact with the person, get in touch with the person who invited you on the call, and they will be able to lead you, you they'll be able to show you how to partner with Neolife, a company that supports you all the way. When you are new, I know a lot of us fear the unknown and the unknown is very dangerous. But when you join Neolife, we hold your hand. We show you the way. We don't leave you alone. We hold your hand until you achieve your dreams. What is required, what is the, the requirement for you to be a member? You need to be over 18 years old. You need to have a dream and you need to be teachable and you need to be excited. I'm one of the very excited distributors of Neolife because let me tell you, when you use the products, you become a product of the product. In March, I went to present to some young people in Mombasa. Now, when I finished the presentation, one of them came to me and asked me, can he come and see me later on? Because he wanted more information. I unmute your skin. So when he came, he said, oh, me have just come because I thought you are a girl. I thought I could give you a date. I told him, my goodness, I'm a grandmother. You see, I'm a product of the products. So let us join this company to make this world a healthier and happier place by making people around us look better, feel better, and live better. Thank you for listening to me. Now I want to take, let me stop sharing. And uh, I need to invite Father Lucas. As you have heard from the name, he is a father, but he is a very excited, serious distributor in this opportunity. I therefore welcome you, Father Lucas. Father Lucas, are you there? Can you hear me? Father Lucas? Uh, yeah. Father Lucas? Hello. And if Father Lucas, there you are. Please take it away. Thank you very much, Faith, for the nice presentation. We have learned a lot about uh, asthma, and I think uh, it came at the right moment. So uh, I also thank you for giving me this chance to also share with our friends something which is uh, directly touching our lives in new life. As you have heard, I am Father Lucas Juma, a new life distributor who is uh, working in Ugunja as a priest and also helping people to gain their health through new life products. I would like to make a presentation uh, about how your mind influences your success. This is because we are here as Neolife distributors 
when we join Neolight, we are called independent distributors. Hello? I hope now I am audible enough. Hello? Yes, please. you are. Yeah, because there are people who say I need to adjust the volume. So uh, I would like uh, an affirmation if I am a bit audible more than before. Okay, thank you very much. So as independent distributors, our aim in uh, success in this good business of neo life is to be successful financially and also health-wise. We remember that our mission is to make the world Hello? Father Lucas, please go on. I can hear, we can hear what you do. You can yes. position your, My your phone. gadget. Yeah, in a way that we can hear you better. Are you now hearing me well? Am I now audible enough? I can hear you. Can okay. you, you are now audible. Thank you very much. Probably my hand was holding the speaker of the phone. Now I am going on. So how your mind can influence your success. And when I talk of success in your life, it's the, that financial success that each one of us is aspiring to reach. Or the reason why you joined in your life and what you want to achieve with it. So we realize that our mind is very powerful. It influences our reactions. It influences our behavior. And therefore, it influences our results. We therefore need to think about the thoughts that we have been running, that have been running through our minds. Have you ever kept quiet and started thinking about what you have been thinking? Thinking about thinking, that is what I am uh, presenting now. For example, some, some thoughts have been running in our minds. For example, I am not a salesperson, and therefore I am not able to present the products to people. Or sometimes you think that you are shy. I am not so uh, courageous enough to talk to people. Or you can also find people thinking that I am not good at this or that. I am not good at sales. I am not good as, at presentation. So what we need to remember is to change how we think so that we can change the results of our behaviors. What goes on in our mind becomes the truth. Therefore, we start forming beliefs and start living by them. So the question that I need to ask is, who told you these things that you now believe? It is yourself. Who told you that you are shy? It is you who told yourself that you are shy. So when you start changing and tell yourself that you are that you are courageous, then you will automatically be courageous. This is how we form our self-limiting behaviors. The way we think has a huge impact on our success. There are two different mindsets that affect our success. The first one is a fixed mindset and that one we uh, we think that we are born with some skills for example that i am born a capable dancer 
or a singer. And so this is a fixed mindset. And it says that you cannot learn something new. Then the second one is a growth mindset. It is a mindset that believes that skills are built and new skills can be learned and achieved. In order to succeed, we uh, need to grow our growth mindset and stagnate our fixed mindset. So these two mindsets are the ones sometimes alternating in our minds. And if we promote one, it will lead us to success. If we stagnate the other, it will also help us to promote the other one. So we, in order to succeed, need to promote the growth mindset and stagnate the fixed mindset. Therefore, we should not start believing that I cannot do this. Let us uh, open our minds and be able to learn new things that we have never learned in life. In order to succeed, we need to operate outside our comfort zones more often. So therefore, we need to do what is new, what is hard to do, and what does not give you pleasure. Number two, we need to get used to challenging tasks, challenging situations. For example, you feel like you don't like talking in front of people, you start sweating and all that. Face it and talk to the multitude. And you will find that practice makes perfect. Every time that you force yourself to go in front of people and start making talks, and it will come pole pole. So to be successful, we have to learn to see the world as a never ending opportunity to learn and to improve ourselves. How to switch your mindset and become more successful. This is now a practical. Number one, we need to become more self-aware. That is, how do you react when faced with the challenges? When you are faced with the failure, how do you react? How do you react when you are faced with difficulties? And sometimes we can even ask ourselves, how do I react when I succeed? Once I get 500 points and become a senior manager, how do I feel? And then how do I react? Sometimes success brings us a cold feet, and that is sometimes affecting our behaviors. So that when I think the way I'm going to succeed and everybody will come around me, I feel shy because I'm afraid of multitudes. So this one can also affect our behavior. There, number two, understand that your brain works like a muscle. It can be trained, it can shrink, and it can widen. So that is what we call neuroplasticity. That means that our minds are not limited. We can stretch them as much as possible and it will help us to achieve what we want. So limited mindset will lead us to failure. Open or stretched mindset will help us to reach success. Number three, consistently choose challenging tasks rather than safe ones. We like playing safe. We like not doing because when we don't do, those dangerous results will not come. And because we have already preempted those dangerous results in our minds and the fear that we have for those dangerous results, we better keep to the status quo. So we need to consistently choose challenging tasks rather than the safe ones. And this one, uh, we need to overcome our fears. The fear of failure, the fear of rejection, the fear of what others will say, the fear of success, because sometimes there are people who fear succeeding. What if I have so much money and then I will attract thieves and this and that and those? No. If you want to succeed, success will propel you to success and more success. 
success has never led to failure. Success will always bring success. So we only need to overcome those fears. And remember, those fears are just in our minds. They are in our thoughts. Number four, if you see someone is better than you, don't see them as a threat. See them as a partner to help you to achieve success. Now, understand that you are not going to master a new skill overnight. So these skills that we learn, we learn them uh, uh, in a prolonged situation. Understand that you are not going to master how to speak to people overnight or how to make the sales overnight or how to make a presentation overnight or how to prospect overnight. You are going to practice this little by little, making efforts like a baby learning to, to walk. So this one is calling for patience. Be patient, but persistent. So you learn slowly, but every day you are making practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Remember that you are what you think, they have always said that as a man thinketh, so he is. We have a Roman emperor called Marcus Aurelius, and he said that a man's life is what his thoughts make of, of it. Therefore, we know that thoughts influence emotions, and this influences how we act. And if it is a business, it will influence also the results. So new thoughts will create new beliefs and therefore it will also lead to new patterns leading to new results. So we succeed because of the inner driving force or the mindset that convinces us that we are able to achieve what we want to achieve. We need the following. Number one, visualization. When I talk of visualization, we remember what our 5DD PROs has been telling us with just fat, that we better, if you are thinking of owning a car, make even the picture of the car and pin it somewhere where every morning you look at it and it tells you, it prints in your mind the type of car you want and even the cost, even the number plate if you want. So this is visualization, making it real in your uh, visual uh, understanding, the picture of it. Then the second one is affirmations. Also, we have always been taught that every morning when you wake up, tell yourself how strong you are, how successful you are, and how blessed you are. You are an achiever. All these positive affirmations about success will bring uh, the positive imprint in your mind and will lead you to success. Number three is setting yourself 30 days challenge or 60 days challenge or even 90 days challenge. I remember last year during the Corona pandemic around June there, we made our 90 day challenge with our five DDPROs. And this was a practice that uh, was to help us make uh, what we fear doing become our daily pattern of life. And so these are a few things that if we do, will lead us to success. I would like to exhort all of us that uh, we need to train our minds, reflect on how we have been thinking, and direct our thoughts towards the goals that we want to achieve. Control your thoughts. The doubts that are in our minds are what are leading us sometimes to lack of achieving what we want to achieve. We have two weeks to go to the end of this month and controlling these thoughts of ours can lead us to great change of results within these two weeks 
and transform the results that we had thought were not going to be what we wanted them to be. And from today on, it is a matter of making decision. Sometimes we fail because we have not decided to succeed. I employ each one of us and give an example of myself that the day I decided to succeed, that is the time I started working the Neo Life business after staying dormant for one and a half years. So I started seriously and within nine months I became a director. And I think that even becoming a Sapphire and a Ruby director is not difficult. And that is the reason why right now I call myself Ruby Father Lucas. Thank you and let us meet there when we all succeed. So I would like to take this occasion to humbly invite our great leader, Florence Okech, to take over from there. Florence, uh, are you there? Hello, Florence, are you there? Hello. Hello, my friends. Maybe Florence is uh, still out. Florence, can you unmute yourself, please? So uh, we are waiting for Florence to unmute herself. But as we wait for her, uh, I would like to just say that it is a matter of changing the way we think. And sometimes we have always been told that the way uh, we think is what controls our success or failure. So if you succeed, it is up to you. And if you fail, it is up to you. Or, we, or better said, if I succeed, it is up to me. And if I fail, it is up to me. So uh, Florence, uh, we are ready to receive you. Please unmute yourself so that we can uh, listen to you. Okay, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Very well, I can hear you. Take it okay. from there, please. Okay, good afternoon, all. Uh, good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon. Uh, oh, good evening, sorry, sorry. Good evening to you all. I'm glad to be here this evening. And uh, before I close the meeting, I would like to thank the presenters of the day. They have done a wonderful, wonderful job. Mam Faith Ngaira, congratulations. You have uh, really taught as well. In fact, it was very, very clear and very informative. Thank you very much. Uh, our Ruby Father Lucas, congratulations. You have done an excellent job. I've learned a lot today. And I believe all of us have learned everything. Thank you very much. It was very great. So for the sake of the guests, I know among us, we have the guests. My name is Florence Okech, and uh, I'm a very, very excited member of this opportunity. And uh, actually, I want to assure you that uh, whoever invited you uh, did good to you because you are in one of the best opportunities. And if I were you, I would grab it and run away with it. Because I've been here five years. I've been here for five years. And what I've seen here is just great. Uh, before, uh, I just, I don't, I'm seeing I have limited time to close the meeting. All I want to affirm is that uh, as uh, distributors, let us focus more on the business. As we have been told by Father Lucas, 
that we really have to change our mindsets and focus on the positive things that we have to do. Because if we don't change our mindsets, we'll always not uh, have changes in our life. So that was a great presentation. And I just want to add, apart from uh, visualization, we, really we also need to have an affirmation every day. Listen to an example of an affirmation that I have that I normally recite almost every day. And uh, I think this one, if you don't have one, it will also make you to have one so that you'll be reciting. And this one will also help you in the change of mind, our mindset. So here it goes. I am destined to succeed. Success is my portion. No weapon directed against me shall prosper. With all the humility, I am all out to touch the lives of people positively, to help them change their lives for better and finally to the best. So help me God. That is a summary of my short uh, affirmation that I do almost every day. And that is also something that will really change me totally because if I was negative, automatically it will change. I, it will imprint in me that I'll always be positive and I'll always believe that anything that uh, I face, any challenge that I face will always be defeated because I've already declared that no weapon directed against me shall prosper. So I think I don't want to say much. All I want to just emphasize on is that uh, let us focus on the business more. And as distributors, we know our basics. Number one is to use the products. Number two, share the products and let us share with as many people as possible. Uh, let us also share the opportunities to many because uh, as uh, we have just learned of success, success that will not come from a silver platter. It will come when you do these basics repeatedly. So let us do our basics just as always. We have, we have known that those are the basics and we have to do them correctly. And the other thing that we should know that uh, we should also have um, a timeline and even how we do these basics. So let us not uh, proscatinate. Uh, let us always do things as we are planned. I believe that all of us as uh, distributors, we have goals. And uh, these goals must have a timeline. So let us time ourselves. And whenever we put any goals down, let us uh, put some action into it so that we achieve these goals. As you all know that we have 10 days to go. And uh, today we may not have our, have our recognitions, but I think next Tuesday we'll have our recognitions. But let us... Uh, uh go all out to do our basics so that we end the month in style so uh, i just want to thank you for sparing your time to be here for the training we know very well that training is key in our opportunity so let, let us train 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 and train so that we get more information we know that information is power and uh, if you don't have information about our products, this one will uh, create lack of confidence and it will also instill fear in you. So let us always make a point of training and not only training by ourselves. If we have team members, let us make sure we also support them by helping them to uh, learn more and even uh, supporting them to, to train the people that they have brought to the business. That is what we call sponsoring. So let us not just uh, re help them recruit and not train the, the people that they bring. So I know together we are a very strong team. Let us continue with the teamwork as we have always done and um, on this note, we have started a small virtual uh, training 
and even physical, no, sorry, physical trainings. Like on Thursday in Nakuru, we have a, a, a BOP meeting together with the members training. And uh, I'd urge you that uh, even if you come from outside Nakuru, you are welcome. And you can also invite people in, the people you know in Nakuru so that they come to our meeting. We shall be there, we shall support them. And uh, this is the way to go. Let us encourage the teamwork and let us try as much as possible to have those uh, small physical meetings so that we even attain that growth that all of us would, uh, decide, uh, would uh, desire to have. So as I close, uh, I just want to uh, say uh, thanks uh, once again, uh, our guests, and I want to just tell them that if they are here, let, uh, let that information help them and let them join so that we enjoy this journey together because it is just a sweet, sweet journey. And uh, I think the basic uh, things that we get from these opportunities are good health, extra income, and uh, better lifestyle. Let us all travel together. And uh, our dear guests, thank you very much for being with us. And our distributors, have, I think I've said much, and I believe that uh, all of us shall work together as before. And uh, together we are a strong team and we shall rock the world because all of us are in a mission to make the world a healthier and a happier place to live. Thank you very much. And uh, without much ado, I'll close the meeting. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me and thank you very much for all the presenters. God bless you all. See you next time. Thank you very much. <laughs>